Wolves had an early gift on Christmas Eve with a morale-boosting victory against Chelsea at Molyneux, extending the unbeaten home record to seven matches. It's been a different story on the road, however, for O'Neill's men, who are yet to pick up a point on their travel since the win over Bournemouth back in October. Wolves tonight can go as high as 10th for the win this evening. They'll need to win by three goals to do so for the first time since Liverpool in February of this year. Across to Lamina, playing through to Xiao Gomez. Cunha tries to find the pass. It's helped on by Huang to Xiao Gomez again, just turning about 30 yards away from goal. Played out towards the left corner. Right near it. Stands, looks for support. Totti's behind. Instead, it's back to Gomez again. Looking for the through ball, Huang inside the penalty area. He'll be able to square across six yards and nearly into his own net by Yanelt. Away for a Wolves corner, the first of the evening. And those sort of balls across the six yard box is where the danger happens. And Brentford nearly an own goal. Well, there's that bit of quality that it said. Great run from Wang. Then this left channel. I don't know who's not scored, Yanelt. Sarabia with the corner, floated high towards the back post. Just about one in the air, drops down nicely. Gomez with the strike, back out again. Sarabia with a second opportunity to cross in on the left, up towards the far post yes, and heading in. Great ball. Wolves have the opener. Fantastic cross, an even better header. And Mario Lamina at the back post to head home for Wolves. Well, Superb goal. It is, and they've been asking questions in this uh, first half. So, look, but what a great ball again from Sarab. Is it two or three already in this game? It was all about the quality for me, putting it in the right area. Keepers come out quite a bit, but there's no way he's getting near it. It's all about the quality of the cross. And Salok so, he's put it in that area what defenders can't do, keepers can't come for. And again, Lamina scoring on the score sheet. Good start from him. 13 minutes in, Wolves have the opening goal. Well, it was the same combination against Chelsea. Say, look, Sarabia off a corner this time and putting the ball in there and Lamina going in and attacking it. But again, it's a good finish. Oh, Hang Huang through here, Huang just to tap it in and Wolves have a second just like that. Oh, wow. A pass back from Brentford. Flecken beaten to it by Huang, who just almost stood in the six yard box wondering what had happened. A nice easy tap in, and with that, Wolves have a second. Wow, I'll tell you what, <laughs> what a start was it? That 30 seconds, well, well, probably not that, 30 seconds. So I don't know who it was, just passing it back to his goalkeeper. Wang did really well. He's read it, and he's quick enough to get round it, and he's got the simplest of goals. And that's what we keep talking about the teams. When we're on the front foot, we look a totally different side, we look a good side. What a start from Wolves. Uh, Brentford on the attack, right edge of the penalty area. Wisser a cup to the byline, played back in from Norgard. Cleared high into the air, Wolves will try and clear. Jao Gomez misses the header. Back forward from Norgard again, Wisser! And Brentford have a goal back immediately. Wisser, free opportunity, only about six yards away. He scored one goal in his previous 15, he's got one this evening. And Brentford have a goal straight back. Well, I was just about to say, this next five, ten minutes is going to be important, especially getting yourselves two up. But just switched off there, couldn't get out of a defensive area. Well, they're looking for an offside, I think, VAR. It looks as though I, I think he's on. Oh, I think so. San Santi Bueno was yeah. caught ball watching just as uh, Wisser made the run. Well, both attacks going for it, both defences just falling short, Brentford with another opportunity down on the right again. Yamoliuk looking to cut the ball inside the penalty area, can only play back to halfway. Godos will help the ball out to the left-hand side. More play. And it's Potter with a cross in, it's dangerous as well, Yanelt into the hands of Jose Sarr, who had to be in the right position, and Brentford out of nowhere have just really turned on the attack. Well, yeah, again, got to stop the cross, got to get close to him, and again, we've got to stay with runners. It was a great ball in. But he should score, he should score from there. 
Bueno out to the right hand side. Again, Wolves just looking to attack into the final third. Semedo plays a long ball down towards Sarabia inside the penalty area, cuts back towards Cunha, chest down, gets the right footed strike away. Not far from goal and a shot off target, but a shot all the same. Cunha did well to control, just under a bit of pressure to get the shot on. There's more goals in this game, I think. So, like it, say at the moment, Wolves say, seem to be taking the game to Brentford, which is great. But they've just got to try and get themselves that little bit of advantage again. And Totti gets ahead of Wissa. Huang's through inside the penalty area again. Huang oh. hits three. Huang with his second of the evening. And it's given away by Brentford again. But Wolves capitalise on that mistake. He Chan Huang makes it 3-1. Yeah, and deservedly so again, first to the ball. And it just shows you what they can do when they get on that front foot. And Wang was just on his way back out of play. I think it was Collins who tried to play the ball forward. I'm just looking if it was offside, no. Pinnock's, Pinnock's playing him on. kept him yeah. onside. Again, he's, he's just let the ball roll. But it's a great finish by him. Little flick over Pinnock. It's a fantastic flick just to take the ball away from Pinnock, who had to come over. I'm not sure what Fletcher was doing finish. jumping in the air. Godos stands over the free kick. It's only a few yards away from the edge of the box. Plays it up towards the far post, headed on over the bar. And that's Collins, I think. It was Collins inside yeah. the six-yard box. And that's, do you know what, that's where most of the chances have been for Brentford this evening. Totti with another defensive header has been kept really busy on this near side so far this evening. Belgard tries to get his first involvement in the game to take the ball away, but it's well worked out wide. Rose Lev inside the penalty area. Godos flicks the ball back to Wissa. One-on-one -on -one with Sar. Sar makes the initial save. Back out again, and it's played wide. More play with an open goal almost to attack out. Wissa was still on goal as well. And Wolves escape. It's a, we've just got ourselves in trouble. Just Nobody tracked again. him again. I think it was Belgard who was supposed to be with Wissa. Never tracked him. Just watching the replay again. Oh, it's a big let off. Whereas Lev on the far side in towards the edge of the penalty area. Cleared out. Lewis Potter takes a deflection on the way through <laughs> into the hands of Saar. It must have nearly been wrong footed, Jose Saar. Ball given away by Brentford on halfway, played forward towards Cunha. Cunha up towards the edge of the penalty area, takes it onto his left foot. Cunha off the post! How unfortunate oh. for Wolves. Back into the centre circle, Norgard sets Wissa free. Bueno had to get there first. Well done, well done, well defended from him. He did well to yeah, he did. take the ball away. Wissa would have been one on one with Saar. Again, the clearance uh, given away towards Cunha. Cunha again, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, squares across. Belgard, it's yes. four! And there's the goal Wolves needed, a breakaway. Again, given away at the back by Brentford. Wolves won't care. Belgard, it was squared to him from Cunha. And it's Brentford one, Wolves four. Well, so it's, I think it's Collins again who's given the ball to Cunha. And that's what we talk about, that quality in that top third and making sure that you do the right thing, that decision-making. But again, it's, it's a deadly finish from Belgar. Yeah, I think it's Collins again. I thought he was going to shoot. Yeah, he just set it up nice for him, didn't he? He knew exactly where Belgar yeah. was going to be, and the roar away. I, I, don't, think, I don't think Collins will want to see those two again. <laughs> Good finish, though. Good finish, still got a bit to do. He won't be watching the highlights anytime soon. No. A great finish from yeah. Belgard past the keeper. Wolves throw forward into the attacking half as Cunha tries to win the header. Bit of head tennis in midfield, and Wolves do eventually escape with the ball. Lamina out to the left hand side. Hugo Bueno plays down towards Belgard. Looking for his second goal of the evening. Takes the ball into the final third inside the penalty area. Tries to poke it towards goal. Flecker makes the save. Jensen back out towards the left edge of the box. And Wolves will just happily clear away down the right-hand side. The full-time whistle goes. Yeah. Convincing win for Wolverhampton Wanderers on the road in West London.
It all started off well in the first half. Lamina got onto the end of a Sarabia cross to find the back of the net to make it 1-0. And immediately from a Brentford kickoff, it was given away by Collins to Huang Hee-chan. Johan Wisser got a goal back only two minutes later just to unsettle the nerves of Wolves fans. Then Hee-chan Wang again found the net, just shy of the half an hour mark. An interesting second half where Wolves were under pressure from Brentford who tried to get themselves back into it. Held a good defensive line and Belgard found the ball squared across from Cunha just uh, 10 minutes before time to make it 4-1 and a fantastic victory on the road this evening.